introduction is Miss Vivian Westwood. Oh. I am desperate. I, I'm so worried. Where do I start? What are we going to do? First of all, TTIP. This thing, TTIP, pushed through by Bill Clinton, don't forget who did this. A corporation has the same rights as a human being. And every human being, according to the values we have today and the legal situation, has a right to earn a living, to make money. So what TTIP means, and it's already started to be put into practice, is that if somebody wants to wreck your country and you don't want them to, they can because Otherwise, you're depriving them of a living. Now, this is a law, an illegal thing. Because it's not a law, it's, I don't know how you say it's an illegal law. Almost all our laws are becoming that. Anyway, what this will do, it is a crime against, it's, it's a catch-all, as has just been said. It, everything that is included in it, we will have no rights left under this law. You know, I mean, human rights, all rights can be put underneath this law. It means we have no freedom left. We're not able to demonstrate. We would not be allowed to. It would prevent somebody from earning a living. Now, listen, so, what, I mean, and the thing is that the enemy has shown their hand now and it is so extreme and i think the first thing we've got to do is th they've drawn the battle line we do have a war we have to fight the politicians yes. and we have to fight the press as well because they paint the wrong picture of course, we know that, but we've got those two things to do. And so where do we start? And I think we start by calling the crime a crime. And I think we start by calling po politicians criminals. Unless they are against this. and. The only party I know that's against this is the Green Party. And we want the Green Party. I'll mention this. We would, it would be great if the Green Party gets in because there is a public debate, quite a massive public debate against this. But you don't hear so much about it, but you do hear more about it on the internet and on the social media and i know that the thing to do is to be cheerful and say you know we can win because there's lots and lots of us there aren't enough of us we've got to make sure that there are more of us when this march comes it's not got to be a hundred thousand it's got to be everybody Anyway, but before, when poor people have marched against oppression or demonstrated against oppression, they've always been helped by richer people. And the richer people have taken the advantages and the poor people have always been betrayed and they never got anywhere. And we don't have democracy today, we've got consumption and we all think we've got this, that and the other, but we're being what do you call it? Fucked over. <laughs> um, anyway, so I, I want to stick to the very, very important thing, which is that the social media could give us hope. We could, it could be something by which we really could build the challenge and the alternative and the truth. Yeah? And so I think that's, that's I've got two things to say to you. We have to 
up the ante. It's not going to happen just being... I mean, just look at the, the election at the moment. What it is, the press presented as a game of people winning points. And it's actually, as I speak, it's a matter of life and death. Because every decision we make, the human race has never been in this danger. And it is in danger of mass extinction. So, this law, as I said, it's against humanity and it's against every, it's against the earth and everything that lives on the earth. And the last thing, I've just mentioned one thing, call the politicians criminals. We've got to start using that language. The next thing is, people don't know about it. I talk about lots of opposition to it, but most people don't know. And they've got to know, and we've really got to tell people. You've got to, it's difficult to tell people, but when you tell people, they're very grateful. Their mouths are open, they don't believe this is happening. And they do listen, and you've got to say, you've got to do something about it. You've got to tell other people, you've got to get involved, you've got to do that. But what I want to know is, in this world of consumption, the things you read in the paper, you would think that it's a wonderful world, nothing's wrong with it, except that out of this country, loads and loads of people are just dying, collateral damage and all that stuff. We're not supposed to really care about that. That's just stuff to keep us, um, our adrenaline going a bit, and stimulate us a bit in the newspapers. We don't, not really caring about that. But listen, let me get to the last point, which is, if we really would use the social media, I would say, let's call out, don't forget the world of consumption, let's call out all these celebrities that are in the newspapers every day. They have got to be on the marches. That would make a difference. That's what people seem to listen to. And they have no responsibility at all and I don't think they know either. They're too busy with whatever this, this world's all about. Listen, I'm, I'm going to go now. I'm just saying I'm desperate, but we've got to have everybody on that march. You've got to do your job, everybody. You've got to tell everybody. Bye. Okay, thank you guys, that's all you can actually keep tweeting this. I'll uh, start a new one now. Okay, that's uh, a final